Hey guys, it's me, Jess, and welcome to another video. Today's video is Ben's Bingo. I am super excited to be part of this Ben's Bingo with a, a lot of other YouTube resellers. And it's just a way for us to meet each other and see what other channels are about. So this Ben's Bingo was started by my friend Courtney from Bolo Buddies. I will have her channel linked down below. It is an amazing channel. She does all bolos. You can learn so much from just watching her channel about reselling. So I definitely recommend checking her out. And if you guys are new to my channel, hey, I'm Jess. I'm a part-time reseller. I sell on eBay, Poshmark, and Macari. I typically just sell women's clothing. And usually on YouTube, I do what sold videos, tips and tricks videos, and unboxings. So if that interests you, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. And while you're there, you might as well hit that thumbs up button. Also, I do want to mention how to find other videos that are part of the Ben's Bingo. All you have to do is type in hashtag Ben's Bingo in the search bar and you guys can start watching them all. Okay, let's get into it. Uh, here is my bingo card. So I pulled everything from my Ben's haul that I want to, I guess, cash in. <laughs> yeah, just so you guys know, there's really no winner here. It's just a way to meet everybody. And I do have some footage from the Ben's. So we're going to go ahead and roll that out. And here is me and my friend Kendra. Never go to the Ben's by yourself. Here we are in a line. And you can already see people are running towards people those run. Ben's probably trying to find the best items yeah and then as we enter you can see people are like getting a little crazy kendra ran right in front of me to give her have this fabletics vest and i'm pretty sure she probably already sold it okay so i had an issue with the sandal um i'll explain more later but my friends are over there and a new friend looking for them so we'll see what happens and here's my bag of clothes and shoes so kendra found this shoe this ugg shoe it is a fun little slipper i've always wanted one um i was debating on buying it retail and she gave it to me it's so nice so we were going to look for the other shoe so i went off by myself i was approached by this lady and she said oh you have my shoe and in reaction to that i said oh no it looks like you have my shoe so she asked uh what are we gonna do if i wasn't gonna give her my shoe and she wasn't gonna give me her shoe and i told her i have done coin flips before in the past and that seemed to work out she told me she doesn't gamble <laughs> what <laughs> Finally, after a little while, because I was going back and going through the bin myself, I was like, okay, um, are we gonna flip for this or what? And she was like, okay. I asked her if she wanted heads or tails and she's, she didn't understand. I had to show her my coin and say, this is heads and this is tails. And she said heads. So I flipped the coin and it landed on tails. So I was like, oh, it landed on tails. So please give me the shoe. And she said, no. <laughs> So I was like, I was mad and I was like, I'm not giving you my shoes. So th this is not how it's going to go. So I just went back through and I was like, well, I will be right here in this section whenever you want to give me the shoe. So I wasn't just going to stand there and just stare at each other. So she went off on her own and immediately I start running with my car over to Kendra. <laughs> <laughs> and when I get to Kendra, I explain the whole thing. And then Kendra is like, no, we're, I no <laughs> it's not happening that's so, not how it works here so this is where i'm going to let kendra go ahead and explain what happened i leave jess with my car and i'm like i'm just gonna go make sure she didn't throw the shoe back so i wander over i'm looking for the shoes find a couple of my own singles and i notice that she has it in her car and she's sitting down by the register waiting for us to throw the shoe back and at this point i'm not okay with this like you lost a coin toss which is kind of courtesy at the bins it's what you do and so I go to Jess and I go I have an idea give me your shoe and I was like I think I'm done anyways I'm gonna stick it right on top of my cart so she can see it I'm gonna walk right in front of her and go check out and I was like and it and if I don't get the other shoe I don't care like at this point that's not fair so I walk right in front of her of course she sees the shoe I check out and I come outside I load my stuff in my car and I'm walking back into the store and she's yelling at me, excuse me, ma'am, excuse me, ma'am. And, and I get close enough to her and I go, yeah. 
And she goes, you have, you bought my shoe. And I go, no, I bought my shoe. And she goes, well, can I buy it from you? And I said, no. And she just kind of looked at me and I go, you did a, a coin toss for this shoe and lost. And she said, I didn't do a coin toss. I go, yes, you did. And she goes, okay, I did do a coin toss. And I said, and you lost. And she said, yeah, she said I picked heads and I didn't. So immediately me being the person that I am, I said, okay, so you already lied to me once. So how do I know you're not lying again? And she goes, so you're not gonna sell me the shoe? And I go, no, I'm not. And she goes, well, then I'm just gonna take this shoe home and throw it in the trash. And I said, well, then I'm gonna do the same thing. <laughs> and I walked inside. Petty, we're yeah, both petty. We are petty, but it's the name of the game and <laughs> she didn't follow etiquette at the bins. I feel like we won. We did win. We won. She didn't get the shoe. She didn't. <laughs> <laughs> now that things are finally calm, this is the next day. I'm going to show you guys what I ended up getting for Ben's Bingo, which is right here again. And if you guys want to stick around, I will just show you everything else that I got that is not part of Ben's Bingo, if you guys are interested. Also, I do have a chapters down below if you like want to skip around. Totally cool. I totally understand. All right, let's get started. One of the first things that I picked up is this Rams hat. A hat is on my Ben's Bingo card. And I have said in one of my shorts or TikToks that Ram stuff is pretty easy for me to sell and pretty easy for me to source. I do live in St. Louis and St. Louis got rid of their football team, the St. Louis Rams, a couple of years ago. And therefore all these St. Louis Rams fans were upset and got rid of all of their Ram stuff. So I do, I pick up anything Rams that does not say St. Louis on it. So I'm expecting this will probably not go for much, but since it is winter season coming up, I'll probably price it pretty cheap and sell it pretty fast. So since clothing is <laughs> mainly what I buy, I saw a clothing item on here and I wanted to put up one of my better clothing items that I did end up finding. And that is Beta Brand. These are just a pair of pants. They're in a larger size, which is good. And yeah, everybody needs those black pair of pants so we can check off clothing item. All right, before I went into the bins, I took a glance at the list and I was like, well, I'm not going to get like half of this stuff. And I didn't. Um, <laughs> I probably got a fourth of this stuff. One of the things I do remember being on there was a plush and this one was super light. And I was like, um, my daughter will like it if I can't sell it. I have no idea this brand Miani. <laughs> it's probably nothing, but again, uh, a little something for my little lady. <laughs> so hopefully she likes this. And uh, Courtney did say that things don't have to be listed that were part of the Ben's Bingo. So automatically I'm just going to say this is going to my daughter. All right, another item. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is going to count. Was a sporting item. So this is really cute. It was an Adidas little tennis dress. And I do well with adult tennis dresses. So I'm thinking kids I might do well with as well. It's just so cute. And tennis dresses are not cheap. I know I used to be a tennis player. Finding tennis dresses for a good deal was nearly impossible. But again, this is super cute. It is by a really good brand that people do search out. So I'm guessing I can sell this pretty easily as well. Okay, I did see linen was on there. So <laughs> I bought a pair of linen shorts by one of my favorite brands. This is Torrid, it is a size one. Um, I wouldn't have picked up these Torrid shorts because I don't do well with Torrid pants, but since it was linen and I do really well with linen, I thought, you know, for what I paid, probably a dollar, a dollar and a quarter, uh, it's, it's totally worth it. If I, even if I get 10 bucks, I'm totally fine. All right, another item that is on the list is a bag or purse. And I'm really excited for this. You guys recognize that pattern. I don't know that a lot of people do, but maybe they do. It is Patricia Nash and Patricia Nash purses go for a lot of money, especially brand new. Super cute embossing on the front and the back. I know I can at least triple quadruple my money on this one. And another thing on the list was shoes. Pretty excited for these. I did not get very many shoes, although I do love to source shoes. These are a pair of dance goes. If you guys couldn't tell, they are a shiny black patent leather. They're in really good condition. They do have a couple of scuffs, but you really have to look to find them. So super excited. 
Also with dance goes, you really want to bend them. Make sure they're not like rotted out at all, even if they're in really good condition. These are really good. <laughs> so I'm pretty excited for these. I believe they retailed for like $130 to $150. So I'm hoping to get a pretty penny for this one. Okay, one of the things on the list was a brand new tags item. So, so I found three. I thought I found four. It might still be in the other bag, but these are a fun <laughs> lingerie. Victoria's Secret, because Victoria's Secret does sell well. Uh, this one does have like a half tag on it. Um, this is a smaller size, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking guys, that if I put these all together, this one has a half tag as well. This one has the full tag, so super excited. So I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna lot all three of these together because uh, smaller sizes are harder to sell, but I believe they will sell soon since they are brand new with tags. And after Christmas will be Valentine's Day and <laughs> these are great for those <laughs> Valentine's moments. Okay, I found an accessory. I was super excited. Um, this is a 100% silk and look at this fun print. So I have like a million bajillion <laughs> scarves already, um, but what's one more, right? Is branded by this brand right here for Sheen. Um, and I have sold it in the past before, not for much, but still, I think that print might help it sell. So can't wait to get that one looked up and listed. I don't know if this one's gonna count, um, but I do consider this a household item. Um, they're bags, they're like fun bags. I always carry these in like with, with groceries and then I just store them in my laundry room. This is by Athleta. <laughs> um, and I just love these bags. I'm gonna reuse them. I'm gonna reuse them. I'm gonna use them for my groceries. I'm gonna use them when I go to Goodwill because they don't have bags. So, I mean, this is a household item everybody needs in their kitchen, in their laundry room, wherever. Okay, that was it for my bins bingo. Here is everything checked off and marked. I believe I did not get a bingo. I obviously did not fill up the card, but either way, this was so much fun to do. And I thank Courtney so much for including me in this collaboration with all the other YouTube resellers. Go make sure you check out their channels as well. Okay, for those of you who stuck around, thank you. I will be showing the rest of my haul. So let's just do that real fast. So I love picking up Bowdoin dresses. They have done super well for me. This is just a wrap dress. And it is a fun floral print. I love this one. Next up, my friend Kendra found this for me. It is Peter Millar, size large. It's a crown soft. And it's just a maroon sweater. Really great for the winter. This is 85% merino wool and 15% silk. So this should do well. And I don't pick up a men's polo Ralph Lauren. Uh, but this was brand new with tags. So pick that up for sure. It is an XXL and this one is 100% cashmere. So cashmere is always a good pickup no matter what the brand. So I'm not really sure why I picked this up. I, I used, I sold one thing that was this brand uh, for a good amount and it was not a t-shirt. I don't even remember what it was, but this is Fender. It's the guitar brand, but it is a fun t-shirt with a bear on it. So. I think I was in like the Ralph Lauren mode where, you know, if you find anything with a bear on it, you should definitely buy it. So I bought the shirt. And I do love sports bras. I buy sports bras for myself uh, at Goodwill. Uh, this is Fabletics. I'm trying to collect Fabletics because my friend Kendra uh, told me that she sold like a ton of Fabletics for like a really good price on Macari. And that's what she's gonna do from now on, I, apparently. Um, and she's making good money, so. I'm taking notes from my friends. I'm taking notes from my friends. And then I found this Tommy Bahama pair of shorts. I've done really well with Tommy Bahama. This is a smaller size. It is a size 28, but I did have a lot of stuff from a friend that was a size 28 and I sold it pretty fast. And then a very iffy brand is White House Black Market. I don't normally pick up White House Black Market, but this was just a fun jacket. It's super lightweight, so it didn't cost me much. It's in like amazing condition. There's like no holes, no rips. Obviously I wouldn't get them if they had holes or rips. There was no stains. I didn't have to do any stain treatment with this one. It just has a lot of fun little buckleys on here. And I either do really well with White House Black Market or I do 
um, not so good. <laughs> a few more that had just come out of the wash and I noticed after it came out of the wash that the uh, zipper is missing, the zipper pull. So that is a sad day for me. This is a Ralph Lauren. I love selling Ralph Lauren dresses. They are super expensive retail. This one did have a lot of uh, deodorant stains, but they did come out easily in the wash. And what I really loved about this one is it was 80% linen. But again, that zipper pull is really gonna hurt me on this one, unless I figure out how to attach a zipper pull myself, which is highly unlikely. Um, so I may just sell this one super cheap and then somebody else can do it. And then I got a little black sleeveless dress by one of my favorite brands, Calvin Klein. This is a size 18W. So I love selling these larger sizes because they usually don't stick around too long. This one does have the zipper pull, so <laughs> that is a plus. And then uh, peeking out of the bins was a Rebecca Taylor. Love finding this brand. I hardly ever find it. I do find it when I shop Nordstrom Rack. And again, it's super expensive. I believe this is her older tag. So this is an older piece. I do not expect this to sell anytime soon, um, being that it is sleeveless, but you know, I'll hold on to it until the summertime. And this one is still drying as well. I did find a bin that was like full of Bailey 44, which is a pretty good brand. This again is another tank. So I'm not expecting this one to move anytime soon. Here is a, another Bailey 44. It's really hard to see because it's black, but this is like a normal sleeve. And then this is kind of a sheer. So that's super cute. And then the last Bailey 44 is this white little dress. Super, super cute. These are an extra small, so they will be a harder sell, but still, I think these are adorable. And then I picked up this cute little Matilda Jane. Look at how cute that is. Cute little fox and a little ruffle on the sleeve. And then another pair of shoes. I didn't buy many shoes, usually I do. We all know the Ugg story, so that kind of detoured me from buying any shoes. But these are a pair of naturalizers. I do really well with naturalizer. I mean, really well as in I get like 19 to 25 for them, but still, it's a quick flip for me. All right, that's the end of my Goodwill bins trip. I spent $31, which is not much at all, and super excited with everything I got. Again, make sure you guys go check out the other channels. Use hashtag bins bingo, and they all should pop up for you. I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks, and have a great day. Bye.